How is everybody today? Good. You all sound like you are in a very good mood today. That's good because it's June. Yeah, it's morning. And it's morning. That's right too. So this morning, who would like to look in the purple bag for us this morning? Me, me. Viv, you looked last week, so maybe we should give another person a turn like Irene. Yeah. So what do we have, Irene? Pretzels. pretzels. Do you think we have enough pretzels to share with everybody? There's only one in here. Well, is that one is pretty good, isn't it? One's better than none? Yeah. Well, let's see if we can give one to everybody. You can keep that one, Viv. Me? You can, yes, that is yours to take. Gabby, do you have one? Irene, you have one? And we have some leftovers for Pastor to take home. There are too much, aren't there? Too many. Okay, well maybe Pastor will take them home or give maybe them to someone else. Too much in nope, they're all out. So Pastor will take these home. And Pastor will enjoy them. What do you enjoy eating your pretzels with? Caleb? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. With hands. With hands? That's good to eat your pretzel with your hands. <laughs> because then you can take it and dip it in the mustard. <laughs> No, really? No mustard? Horseradish? No? Maybe honey mustard? You need it a little sweeter? No? No. Okay, how about ranch dip? Well, boy, you guys are really not into dips, huh? Maybe you eat them with cheese? Yeah. There, cheese, okay. How about uh, nice cold root beer? Oh, see now? See, those are good things. Everybody likes different things with their pretzels. Mm -hmm. Pretzels have been used sometimes. One that's right. That's yours, Gabby. It's yours. You get to take it home. Pretzels have been used to remind us about prayer. It can move. It can move in the bag. But when you look at it, Viv, in the bag, do you see it's all twisted up? Right? It's not a straight kind of pretzel. Mm -hmm. And some people have said, that the pretzel reminds us about prayer because when we pray, what does our mom or dad tell us to do when we pray? I get on the roller coaster. Well, not when you pray. <laughs> you may pray to get on the roller coaster. Yeah. yeah. But I already did. Okay, well that's a good yeah. thing. I but when you're in church, oh, wait, okay, <laughs> Jenna, what do your mom and dad say when you pray? To fold your hands so that your hands aren't playing with your pretzels and poking your sister and dropping the hymnal, right? So the pretzel reminds us that we're to fold our hands, okay? This doesn't look like a pretzel, but if you do this, it looks like a pretzel. See? Brown thing. Pretzel. Get it? Kind of looks like a pretzel. Right. Thanks for agreeing. So pretzels should remind us of prayer. In our sermon today, we're talking about how Jesus prayed for us. And just like you guys didn't like mustard to dip your pretzels in, but you thought root beer was a good idea to have with it, we have all different kinds of prayers that we use at different times. Sometimes we pray for ourselves. Sometimes we pray for someone else. Sometimes we pray for good things. Sometimes we pray for God to take away bad things. In our sermon today, we're going to remind us that Jesus prayed for all of us here today that we would know Him. And if we know Jesus and believe in Him, then we know our sins are forgiven and that we're going to go to heaven. So, you get to take your pretzels home with you. Don't eat them in church. Right? Everybody look at me. Don't eat them in church. Take them home. So you can dip them in the mustard. <laughs> All right, and remember every time you eat a pretzel or see a pretzel, that it should remind you about prayer. So we can pray often and pray for a lot of people and pray for a lot of things. Yes, Irene. Uh, my sister likes like um, putting must like uh, ketchup, dipping ketchup in her. Uh, okay. Everybody likes their own thing to dip things in. <laughs> And I'm glad that you don't like mustard for yours, because there's more mustard for me then. 
And I wouldn't like ketchup, so Gabby can have all the ketchup. I don't like ketchup. You don't like ketchup? Okay, so Irene just told us a whole story. But that's what the purple bag is all about at the end. So you guys, remember your pretzels, and remember to pray. Go back to your moms and dads, and we'll join together in our hymn of the day.